Hey then, welcome to another low budget, unedited video by yours truly, Sammy. Um, today we're going to talk about something uh, called picks or plectrums or whatever you want to call them. This happens to be a Dunlop Tortex. Uh, and people sometimes will ask, well, what's the best pick to use? The best pick to use, in my opinion, is whatever pick is feels best to you. Now, it could be a cheap, cheap pick, which, you know, basically can be a fender. Uh, you know, you can get these a dime a dozen. Or you can go crazy and get yourself, um, you know, something more expensive like a titanium pick, which is a specialty type. Hard to see it, but it's made of uh, titanium and uh, resin. Uh, or you can get one of these here fancy gravity picks which are about 10 bucks a piece or so. Um, my girlfriend got me this as a present. She's so wonderful. Um, I really like the pick. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I've been using it a real lot lately. Now, you know, a lot of it depends on, on what you're playing too. Like, for instance, if you're playing electric guitar, the gravity pick is great for like, doing leads. <laughs> It's okay for strumming too. Um, my choice of picks has changed a lot over the years. Um, I've been using this gravity recently because uh, I just recently got it. But also I like these little jazz picks, uh, jazz threes that um, I think it's a Dunlop. Puts them out. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it sounds very similar to the um, other ones. Uh, these are the cool picks. Uh, you might have seen these in cases. They say cool on them. Uh, mm -hmm. Very, uh, very um, thick and strong. So, you know, basically that's for that. Now, if you're going to play an acoustic guitar, uh, normally, uh, this is my Gibson LGO uh, from the 60s. Um, all mahogany body. Um, it's got a short scale end. Um, but I love this guitar. I call it my porch guitar. I play it on my porch a lot. Um, these are like the thinner picks to play an acoustic. Just makes for a smoother uh, strum. However, if I'm going to record it, a lot of times I'll go for a heavier pick so that I don't get as much string noise. That was the titanium pick I was talking about earlier. Uh, I can't see who puts it out, but uh, they were like five dollars a piece or something like that. Then uh, I found these uh, Tortex uh, white picks, so these are pretty good too. A little thick, but they have a little bit of give to them, so they're good for the really passengers as much as the beats. So that's basically uh, a few of them. Uh, these I really like a lot. Uh, these are the Davas. Now, the green Davas are really my favorite. I don't seem to have one here for some reason, but uh, this one's really nice too. This is one of the red uh, rubberized ones. Uh, <laughs> These are real lot too because they have give uh, when you want to play rhythm. So, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, 
know, you can, you can use them for rhythm, but they're also good for leads. You know, so I really like these a lot too. The Davis, uh, the green Davis are really exceptional. Um, they're a little more expensive than your run of the mill pick, but they're well worth the money, uh, in my opinion. I really like them a lot. The little jazz threes I like a lot too. Uh, uh, the jazz threes are nice, uh, very good for lead. Um, so that's basically it. You know, picks are up to the user, in my opinion. And, um, if you like a pick and someone else doesn't, who cares? Use it because you like it and because it feels comfortable to you. You're going to play better if you're comfortable with the pick that you're using. So try a bunch of different picks out. That's what I do. I still try new picks out whenever I see one that I think is cool. That might be a little better. Um, you know, the Jazz 3s I just started using maybe a year ago. So, you know, it's up to whatever feels good to you. So try a bunch of different picks out. They're not that expensive. Um, the tone, to me, changes a little bit from pick to pick, but nothing like major that's going to be like, oh, my God. Um, but what's going to play it be is your, your playing is going to be better with a comfortable pick because you feel more comfortable with it. Uh, if, it if you need a grip so you don't drop it, uh, that helps. Um, you know, there's different styles of picks, different price ranges. I've seen them as cheap as you know, 25 cents and as much as, you know, $50. So, um, I wouldn't go by price. I would go by feel and whatever feels good to you is the right pick for you. And that's my two cents. Uh, in any case, um, basically, uh, be kind to one another and remember happiness breeds happiness. If you make someone happy, you in turn will be happy. Take care.